Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to do the first update on the 22 months for all rifle I picked up back in July. I just hit the 200 round count this week at the gun range, and I thought now would be a good time to come back and revisit how the rifle's performing. And before we go any further, let's go ahead and address the question probably running through your head, which is what the hell did he do to his rifle? Well, I already have a couple ARs and they're all black. And this one, I thought I'd have a little fun with, especially seeing how it was so inexpensive. So I thought, you know what? I've always wanted to have a Stormtrooper rifle. I'm still a kid at heart. Tore it down, painted it gloss white, had a vinyl sticker made for the Imperial symbol, and my Stormtrooper number in the back, just to have fun with it. I'm absolutely sure it's not everybody's cup of tea. Whoever's watching this video, you may hate it, you may like it, but I know when I take it to the gun range, I get some different opinions there too. Those who are older than I am, they can't stand it. Those who are younger than I am, man, they really love it. They think it's one of the coolest things they've ever seen. To each his own. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I don't know about how you feel, but by all means, go ahead and leave a comment below. Tell me if you like it, if you hate it. You know what, as long as I'm happy, that's all that really matters, but at least the comments below should be fun to read. Anyway, back to the review. So 200 rounds fired so far. And those 200 rounds consist of what you see here on the table. Everything from your basic brass to reloads to steel and to nickel. I have not run any lacquer through it. And I don't plan to run any lacquer ammo through it. Just this stuff so far. And if I do this, I can tell you that the gun has functioned 100% perfectly. Not one error, not any issues of any kind. And I haven't even cleaned it. The oil that's running the gun still is the same stuff that showed up on the bolt day one when I opened the box. However, if I put this back in the scenario, now I got a different story to tell. Uh oh. Trigger fired. Got a hang fire. Let's see what we got going on here. Safety. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's a pretty good punch. That should have gone boom. We'll put that back in and see if we get a fire a second time. Where's that one? We're going to put that one that had the, uh, we're going to call the light primer strike, but that wasn't light. Not light at all. So we got one more Tula. We're going to send back to that bottom right hand corner again. Bad bullet. That's twice. There are two punches. And that's a good solid hit. It's just a crappy bullet. So we're going to go ahead and do a mag test dump really quick to see whether or not it functions. I'm running Tula ammo in here. Um, it's I think there's five rounds of brass in here from Perfecta, but the other 25 are all Tula. We'll give the mag dump a check. I'm not looking for accuracy or anything else like that. And if there's a malfunction, we'll go ahead and show you. So fast as I can pull, we'll see what we get. One. Something happened. So, I don't know if you can pick it up or not, but we do have a light strike. Well, that's not a light strike. That's a pretty heavy strike. It might have just been a bad bullet. We'll chop that up and try again. Alright, let's see for bullet two. <laughs> Two rounds. Same thing. I don't know. Hopefully it's just the ammo. I've never had that kind of problem with Tula before though, so I'm a little concerned. I don't know how many rounds, but we got another one.
Where'd that one land? Right there. It's another good strike. They're not light. They're putting a good dent in the bullet. Here we go again. All right, we're empty. We'll go ahead and just test one of these, see what happens. Oh, crap. Let's find out if it was the bullet. That makes me wonder, so we'll go ahead and we'll fire off the other two. Nope, drop dead. Drop dead. So. Maybe it is actually just bad Tula ammo. I'll load up some brass and I'll see what I get out of that. Okay, we'll drop off three rounds of Tula. Well, that's not good. It's a good strike. We'll put it right there. Okay. Failure to fire. Here's the second round. <laughs> okay then. Pick that one up in just a second. Let's try the third run I put in there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Haha. <laughs> failure to fire and a failure to eject. Let's take a look at those. Okay. Where'd the other one go? Oh yeah. Well there are three consecutive Tula. All the strikes are good. Oh. Okay. Remember, I had two tool at the very start. There's another dead bullet. I'm getting a lot of failures to fire. In fact, in one of the boxes, in my last outing, nine of the 20 did not go off. 13 out of two boxes. In the end, I had 13 different rounds of this Tula ammo just fail on me. All the same thing, failure to fire. Again, I don't know if I, you saw it on camera with the primers, but they look like they're pretty good strikes. And then I ran, of course, the last five rounds there of that Aguila, and it ran just fine. None of the brass malfunction today. Only the steel case coming in from Tula. And I don't know what to think. I really honestly don't believe it's the gun. Each and every one of those, I had the same kind of primer strike. They were good and solid. In fact, I'll make sure to roll in footage as I'm talking here that I'll take those 13 rounds up, put them back in, and try to fire them again, and not one actually goes off. But before I leave, I should probably run these 13 rounds of Tula back through the rifle and see whether or not they'll go through a second time. I don't honestly know if it proves anything, but if none of, if none of them go off, it's probably the ammo. Okay, 13 rounds of Tula.
Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Can you believe this? Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Last one. Thirteen. Empty. Thirteen dry fires. Can you believe that? All 13 rounds, none of them went through it. So, that's a good thing, I think. At least in my head, it's a good thing. That definitely has got to mean it's the ammo and not me. Right? It has to. Somebody else told me, because you probably know more than I do. Okay, now we're done. And here's some examples of what I picked up off the ground. Now, this came from my third outing, and I hope I'm holding it to get a good glint off the ends and off the primer. And if you can see it, those are good solid primer strikes. They're nice and deep, they're nearly centered, regardless of brass or steel. I don't think that's the issue. Make it clear, as I always try to, I am not an expert on this. I don't build them, I don't sell them. So I can't say this for 100%, but I don't think it's the gun's issue. I don't want to blame the gun. I want to love the gun. I want to be happy with what I purchased. So I don't think it has an issue firing steel because it fired the wolf just fine. And I think it's a quality control issue with Tula. And this Tula ammo is not the, some of the old stuff. This is not the copper covered bullets. Instead, it's that new silver colored bullet stuff. So I don't know if it's the new manufacturing they're doing or what, but I'm getting some really bad results. By all means, please, if you've also had some experience with Tula on failure to fires and it's some of that new stuff, do leave a comment. Let me know I'm not the only one having this problem. So I really don't want to blame the gun. All the rest of the stuff though, 100%. I've had no issues at all. I'm loving the gun so far. It's doing its job. Now I have not done any kind of accuracy testing. Instead, I've been trying out different kind of scopes. I got this one to four on there now. I've been trying out two different little red dots, seeing what I like. And so all I've really wanted to do is to see if the gun would function. And when I try to sight in the different optics, once I got it sighted in, I'm really happy at the results. Well, as happy as I can be with dots. This isn't a crosshair, it's another little mill dot. Same with the uh, red dots I've been trying. And so you stretch that out there anywhere past 25 uh, yards and that dot gets so big that in the end, it covers the whole target. So I can't really be super accurate. But I think if you get a good scope on here and a much better shooter than I am, I think the gun's gonna perform just as well as you would hope. I mean, that's my guess, I haven't done it yet, but we will. So again, 200 rounds, it's not a lot to go off of. I know good and well that I have ways to go before I can say anything definitive about the rifle, but I'm really happy. What we'll do next is we'll go buy some better ammo, we'll get some good match ammo, and some more of this, including some Tula, to see if I still keep having issues. And we'll go out there and see if we can't perform some kind of accuracy test with it. Um, after I get either 400 to 500 rounds, I'll come back and let you know. And if I have any more errors, I always film when I go out, I'll be sure to show you those as well so you have a better idea of what's happening. Hopefully watching the videos helped you kind of make a little bit of decision if you're on the, on the edge of whether or not you want to try to buy one of their uppers. I'm really happy, you know. I couldn't expect anything more from it so far and I hope that it'll keep functioning that way. If you haven't seen them, check out their website, give us some thought, but I'm really liking this gun. To each his own though, right? So. If you have a comment or a question, please leave it and I'll try to answer it. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. So until next time, we'll see you.